Why are you wearing that sailor suit? Arthur always wears the same outfit in all of my videos, partly for brand consistency, but also... Where have you been, big man? Out and about, you know. I missed you, son. You find anything interesting? It's strange country out there. That it is. Now Dutch can see that we're filming here, but he's going to elbow into the scene because he has something to say and he's the boss. What can you do? Sometimes Dutch is like David Brent or Michael Scott from The Office and Dutch demands, or perhaps a better word would be insists, on all of the attention. Where were we? This is my favorite outfit for Arthur. Let's break it down. We start with the French dress shirt with full sleeves and a button collar for a more formal look. And we need gloves. Gloves are essential and the black range gloves will work perfectly. I do like the black striped jeans, but any darker pants would work. Chaps are essential. The fringed shotgun chaps look so iconic, so western, and I really can't imagine Arthur without them. And I go with the worn roper boots. I imagine Arthur is hard on his boots. The only disadvantage to chaps is you can't show off the stitching on the fancy boots, but these boots look comfortable and broken in. I like to think they are Arthur's favorite boots. Arthur's signature belt buckle is the bear claw talisman, and the eagle talon talisman makes the greatest spurs in the game. However, the eagle talon talisman is an ultimate edition bonus, which I purchased for half price on a Black Friday sale. I used to use the stinger spurs in black. I like the studs. Fancy, but not too fancy. Moving on, the ebony outdoorsman vest looks warm and more important is black. For coats, we have the legendary bear coat, my favorite coat in the game. And for hats, we have the Civil War Hardy hat, my favorite hat in the game. The Hardy hat, to quote Wikipedia, is also known as the Model 1858 dress hat, and also referred to as the Jeff Davis, the regulation dress hat for enlisted men in the Union Army during the American Civil War. The Hardy hat was also worn by Confederate soldiers. I really like the history of this hat and that it was worn by both the North and the South, and I really like how the side is pinned and that it's inconsistent with regulations. Also, the hat has a feather. It is a fine hat. Okay, let's get to the Valentine General Store and start working on this look. Yeah. Chaps are only available at the Valentine Store. I also like this buckskin tone, but I could never find the right jacket for it, so I always go with the black. And here are the Stenger spurs again. I really like those studs. And I also have a warm weather variation for Rhodes and Shady Bell, where we upgrade to a fancy vest with an open collar and rolled sleeves. I prefer the paisley vest in red, but also the opulent vest in black. You like the look of that one, huh? I sell out of that pretty fast. And then the riding gloves in the darkest shade, which isn't too dark. Those go pretty fast. But also the fingerless rifleman gloves in the off-white is a cool, warm weather look. Next we need to get the coat, which means we need to see Hosea about a certain thousand pound bear. Hey Arthur! Hosea? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No, I saw a huge bear 
One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading, exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go, then. Three explosive rounds to the forehead should be enough to cure any headache, legendary or otherwise. So we get that bear pelt to the trapper and we can get a look at our coat, but we can't get it just yet. Once in a lifetime, eh? Quality hide makes the hardiest clothes around. Don't doubt it. We also need a three-star buffalo. Easy enough. But first we need a Springfield upgraded with a scope. Any rifle will do, but this is the earliest one available to Arthur. You can try with an improved arrow or a poison arrow, but you really need a hunting rifle anyway, so you might as well pick one up now. I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. And here is a likely candidate. And here is the map. You will find the buffalo herd between the H and the A of New Hanover. Don't get too close or they'll run. But to be fair, it's not like they can run fast or far. And now we can return to the trapper and he can craft us that coat. Glad to see you again, sir. So, buying or selling? Okay, let's take a look at it. Nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. I do like the legendary bear hood hat. It certainly looks warm enough. It's just not the kind of look I'm going for with my Arthur. you go. The final piece of the puzzle is the Civil War hat, which you can find at the abandoned fort on the Kamasa River. Here is your map, Fort Bernard at Mosey Flats. There are a lot of supplies around here, which I will show you before we grab the hat. Also, this location is great for snakes, squirrels, and raccoons. This chest under the stairs has some ammo, cash, and a horse medicine recipe. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
there's a cigarette card up in this tower. There's nothing in this tower except a stunning view, which Arthur is happy to share with you. and check out this pile of human skulls and what one can only assume was a severed head on a stick. What's that about? Nothing good. In the cabin we have Meow Meows of the Desert, so rare, and note the matches with the arrow, indicating something of interest. It's a little spooky downstairs, but everything we want is down here, so we have to be a little brave. Starting with the Civil War knife, very cool. I do like the wide blade and the brass handle. Some more ammo and some aged pirate rum. And then we have a gold nugget in this trunk and a letter, which we have time enough to read. Dated May 8th, 1863. Confederate soldiers under General Quincy Harris attacked Fort Bernard at night. Climbed trees to fire down into the fort, then battered in through the north gate. All survivors being executed and bodies burned. I am next. First Lieutenant Ronald Alger. Tragic, but it was war, brother against brother, and the good news is Arthur gets a new hat, which is in this corner. You have to walk on the sunny side of the street, to paraphrase Frank Sinatra. And finally, there's your hat. That should set you up nicely. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want.